We could still see some pretty substantial rainfall totals uh, as this is going to be bringing in some big influences to Louisiana, Mississippi and southern Arkansas as we get through the rest of Monday, Tuesday and into early Wednesday. So the reason we've been seeing all of this, well, first of all, we have this frontal boundary that stalls out, but there's also this high pressure system in the Gulf of Mexico. These two systems, they're teaming up to really funnel the moisture into the Gulf Coast states. Pretty common to see this, a lot of mugginess across the spots, but since that front is stalled out for tomorrow, we have a moderate risk that extends from Shreveport across the Interstate 20 corridor through Jackson and then a level two down through Alexandria. This front will continue moving through, continue with all of these southerly winds that run into the frontal boundary to bring in some really soaking rain. Now we're getting into Tuesday night. Focus shifts a little bit more in towards portions of Mississippi, but that low is still working its way through. So once we get into Wednesday, it's still still raining. You may see a bit of a break when we look at our forecast models all the way through uh, into the latter half of the work week. We're still going to be dealing with some rain. So here's the big picture of where we're expecting some of the heaviest of the rainfall totals uh, from this point down through areas of Texas, but up through northern Louisiana, big impacts to be felt. When we look at some of those specific numbers across these areas, we could see some widespread ranges and how much rain we could see. In general, four to five inches can be expected from a uh, Nacogdoches up to the north. And then as we look to Mississippi, mostly west of the interstate is where we could see those four, five plus inch totals like Natchez and up through Jackson. So we're going to be monitoring the heavy rainfall threat. But if you haven't now, take the time to prepare your household if you haven't already started to see some of that rainfall here. Now, we do want to talk a little bit more about what's happening out west because we're going to be heating things up here potentially. Maybe we could break some records.